The administration is anticipating a $48 million shortfall in government cash due to the Trump tax cuts. The shortfall has GovGuam scrambling to find ways to make up for the cuts. But where did this figure come from? Well, during the last Special Economic Services meeting, the administration explained their methodology. The Trump tax cuts have GovGuam reeling, and during the Special Economic Services meeting on January 31st, administration officials explained how they arrived at their estimated shortfall of $47.9 million. BBMR budget analyst Jason Baza said they looked at the new tax categories for individual reductions, and the average reduction was about 1.9%, but they opted to go with a 3% reduction to both individual and withholding tax taxes just to be on the safe side. For FY18, we took the adopted level for 18 for both, or actually all three categories. Individual at 78.3 million, we did a 3% reduction from that number, which came up to a 2.3 million full year impact. Prorated over eight months, that came out to a $1.5 million reduction for individual. Same concept for withholding, the 281 million uh, adopted level, reduced by 3% over a full fiscal year, came out to 8.4, prorated for eight months of the, uh, that number would be $5.6 million reduction. Corporate was uh, the easiest to actually calculate because it went from 35% to 21%. So we took the taxable income that the adopted level of 152.6 would yield and uh, which would be dividing the 152.6 by 35% at the current corporate level to come with a taxable income of 436 million. And we multiplied that taxable income of 436 million by the new rate of 21%, which yielded a full year impact of 61 million or a prorated rate for eight months of 40.6. So the amounts of 1.5, 5.6, and 40.6 between the three categories came out to the 47.8 million. And Revin Tax Director John Camacho agreed with these numbers. They kept the, the seven tier rate, but they reduced uh, some of the rates down. Um, some of, I think, two, three percent. And that's how we, we agreed to uh, use a three percent rate reduction on what was adopted. Uh, for the corporate, basically, uh, you know, it's, it's a one-time rate. Uh, it's for life. It's 21 percent, and then we did the they did the calculation, and when we we compared that calculation of how we arrived at you know the previous uh, amounts that we were giving out, it was very close. In other words, um, you know, their taxable income is, is very close to our taxable income from the way we estimated it. So. That basically is something that we, we uh, uh, confer with and uh, accepted that return, that estimation. The public auditor came up with a similar figure. We independently verify, uh, did our own calculation, not having other information, just, just kind of like what we thought of it. And surprisingly, surprisingly, our number was just a million dollars off. But it is on the high side because the one assumption, and I, and I had discussions with Lester about his calculation, calculation. And I say that number is on the high side because it assumes that all corporations are December 31st corporations. What I was not able to adjust the number by is what percentage are not uh, 1231 because it's the 1231 corporations that are going to be able to take the full effect. It, uh, but it will uh, it will be in 2019 that the rest of them will have the full effect. The one number she didn't factor in was the reduction to Section 30 funding, which comes from income tax withholding of military and federal employees living on Guam. But even with that, the public auditor says she does not expect the shortfall to be any higher than $47.9 million. If it's less than 47, you know, good. But I don't expect it to be higher than that. BBMR Director Lester Carlson said the Trump tax bill was passed on December 30th, Guam time, and the IRS didn't release the new tax tables until January 12th, which is why they were only able to come up with the estimated shortfall a few weeks ago.